Hello everybody. I thought I would talk a little bit today about nib files. The same topic I was trying to explain uh, during class, but tragically ran out of time. So to illustrate this, I'm going to start by creating a new Xcode project. Uh, it's going to be an iOS application. It is going to be an empty application. Click on next. I will call this Wednesday night because it is Wednesday night and I will use automatic reference counting. And I'll store it somewhere useful. I think I will store it in my usual doodles. Now at this point I have a new project with an app delegate. If I ran this, nothing too exciting would happen. The next step in this process is I'm going to create a nib file. So I'll simply highlight Wednesday night, new file. And I want now to go to user interface and I want to create an empty nib file. Click on next. I uh, will design this for the iPhone. I am talking about the user interface now, so I have to specify the kind of device. And I will make this mynib.xib, and I will go ahead and create it. At this point, a part of Xcode called Interface Builder pops up, and I can put in any objects here that I want. These objects will be instantiated when this file, mynib.nib, in fact, uh, the compiled version of mynib.xib, gets loaded into memory. So, I am going to start off by finding a UI view. This is the base class of all user interface objects. A UI view is anything that can be seen on the screen. Onto the UI view, I'm going to drag three items. I'm going to drag a label, and I'll put that there in the center. I am going to drag a button, and I'll put that in the center, and I'm going to drag a text field. I now have, as you can see, a total of four nib objects. These objects are going to be instantiated when my nib gets loaded into memory. I also have something called the files owner. This is going to represent an object that has already been created in code. And we're going to, uh, in the next video, show how we can configure files owner. So stay tuned for episode two.